Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of I don't even know what the hell I'm calling this shit. <laughs> it's uh we're trying out different things for different mods. So before I get to the add-on that I'm discussing today, a few things about last video. Number one Animal traps do not work on the ground. They have to be in the ground. Found that out. I waited, 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 didn't catch a damn thing. I was like, what the heck? <laughs> and then I realized, it. oh yeah, by the way, I'm accompanied by Mr. Chuckles. <laughs> A.K.A. Sam. <laughs> so, anyway, first up, we have a fruit bait. Well, you get a lot of chicken and bones. Every, but, raw the, you get the raw rabbit, as Chuckles said. Whenever you use the fruit bait, that's the meat that you'll get in addition to your other stuff. Uh, eggs you'll get randomly too, along with your chickens and leather. But with the grain bait, you get raw turkey and raw beef. And when you use the veggie bait, no, we don't count those because <laughs> those come in all of them. You get the raw pork. And the raw about mutton. The leather you buy actually left in. Yeah, that shows up in all three too. So that was that. Then we move on to the fish. So originally I wasn't even gonna try it. Well, then I thought, okay, well let's punch out a hole here and put one in. A three by three, nada. Don't catch a damn thing. So I thought, well, maybe it has to be deeper. So I made it deeper. Again, nothing. Nothing. No fish. So, then I decided, okay, let's make it bigger. I put two water squares on each side of it. And we got fish. And the fish is just randomly assorted things. <laughs> so, if you want to use the fish trap, make sure you put two squares of water around it. Animal traps, make sure you put them underground. Or you ain't gonna get crap. <laughs> so let's come over. Well, I guess should finish emptying the rest out of them traps, though, huh? That might help. Uh, there comes a chicken in. Uh, oh, yeah, and the items in them don't stack. You only get one item per slot. So, and there's another rabbit bit the dust. Alright, so now we'll come over here. I set this one up for all the meat I've been gathering out of the animal traps. And Dead this leather. this stuff here is all the stuff you can get out of your traps. Oh yeah, and then you get raw venison out of one of them, I don't remember which. It was with the chick the turkey. No. Yeah. That was the raw beef. I think the venison's with the rabbit. No. I don't know. Who the hell cares? It's meat. And then this is our fish. After I figured out how to get fish. Right, so I moved the trees so that way they actually grew this time. Hello, Mr. Sheep. <laughs> and this one over here is an interesting one. It's a paper bark wood tree, right? You smack it and you get paper. Nice, interesting little tree. Then we have our cinnamon tree over here. So we can smack it and get cinnamon. Well, technically you right click, not smack it. Oh, and this one here. This one's interesting too. You get maple syrup. And it already comes pre in a jar. Mm -hmm. That's nice of them. So you don't get all sticky. So let's see. Put my maple syrup up. Can't talk. Put maple syrup in there. Put my paper in there. And we will throw our cinnamon over there. Alright, so now, I also went, because I got tired of trying to figure out which went to which bait. So I figured out all these items in this chest will give you veggie bait. Yes, even the white mushrooms <laughs> give you veggie bait. And seaweed gives you veggie bait. Really? Yeah. That's I, did, I, I, I didn't know it either, but yeah. That's right. Now... The issue with, here, we'll just grab three of those, and we'll grab those three seaweed. You'll see I'm not lying to you. Uh, let's grab our string here. 
which by the way can be made from the cotton very helpful especially whenever you're on peaceful so see seaweed gives you veggie bait now I told you the coconuts will give you a veggie bait uh where's the veggie bait not there because don't you have to do something with the coconuts before yep you gotta put the coconut in the presser or else you're not gonna get your veggie bait <laughs> And there you go. There's your veggie bait. And you also get cooking oil. <laughs> which, through all my testing, I have a now complete stack of cooking oil. Mm. Oh, yeah. And I found out you can put the pot on top of the oven. <laughs> so you don't have to hold it whenever you're doing stuff with the pot. <laughs> and same thing with the cooking, or the cutting board. I put it on top of my uh, crafting table there. I still have them over here, though, too, in my shelves, which I put in with bibliocraft because I need somewhere to store this stuff that was easier to find and the nice thing is you can put juices on potion shelves mm -hmm. that's nice unfortunately you cannot put vinegar on a potion shelf <laughs> and you can't put cooking oil either <laughs> or vinegar. you can't put lemonade uh, what's that one root beer ginger ale coconut milk and bubbly water they will not go on the thing either I think it's maybe the bottle design I don't know I don't know why they don't like it but they don't so nasty ginger ale <laughs> so anyway no root beer is more nasty than ginger ale hey. <laughs> alright so we'll put that in there now these things here which I forgot to mention I'll give you the grain bait Obviously, the, some of it. Th this, this one here, I have found absolutely no use for at all. I cannot find one single use for it, which is unusual because usually Pam's stuff all has a use. But the only thing you can do is mix it with a sapling to make a new tree. <laughs> that's that's kind of stupid. That's the only use for it. So, uh, rest of this stuff... You can get melon juice if you put that in a juicer, but it don't give you no uh, bait. These ones don't give you any bait down here. And let's see. Oh, yeah. Why and do that, you have a, a crab hand or something? It's a cooked crab. <laughs> I cooked it last episode. Mm -hmm. And as I said, you can take one of your uh, things off of your tree, put it... Well, you should be able to... If it's not a jungle tree, I thought I that think it's a. I thought that one said it would could use the jungle. Where are you going? <laughs> Get back here. <laughs> Wait. Uh. Oh no, that one has See? to be an oak sapling. All right. So I put the wrong sapling in there. <laughs> there. Now it works. I and knew you, that one because like, I used. Yeah, there. it's this one here. I meant to. Uh, if I take the olive <laughs> not walnut. with the jungle, I get an olive sapling. Because I wanna I wanted to move this tree, that's why I found that out. But anyway, moving on. Because <laughs> none of this means crap because we already looked at this mod. And it's becoming nighttime, so let's make it daytime. So today we're looking at Pam's add-on called We Flowers. <laughs> Basically, you get seeds, plant them, you get flowers. <laughs> That's the equivalent of the mod add-on. Is it though the white ones are kind of scarce, but basically you have your flowers once I get them. How many do you get out of the white ones? A lot of times, you'll get the flower, but not a new seed for it. Because you have wow. to, you have to actually break them. You can't pick them like the other stuff in the uh, mods. So whenever you break them, a lot of times you won't get the. Why is there rye and barley? Ah, uh, because I kind of popped them out too. <laughs> uh, do 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 do. Plant them back. Uh, so scullion, what I do? I punch two out too, huh? Oh well. Uh, usually you just. Right click on these to pick them. 
but the flowers you can't do it with. So, anyway, uh, that's the long and short of it. Let's just throw them in there for now. Good enough. Ain't worried about it. All right. So, back to the flowers. Basically, you get some that give you seeds back that you can replant, and some you don't. But normally, what you'll do if you find them wild in the you know a world that you generate with it already there, mm -hmm. you'll find them wild like this. And whenever you punch them, you don't get a seed; you just get the flower. Dying us for. And these, since that's pretty much that add-on there, <laughs> that's the equivalent of the add-on. I mean, you can put down flowers or get cocoa beans. Well. You get different dyes, which you should know by now with flowers. But anyway, I want to talk a little bit about these gardens that I mentioned yesterday. Well, in the last video, not yesterday. These gardens, for the most part, I don't know why you didn't spread too much. Usually they spread pretty well. Hmm. I put one of each down, and well, pretty much they spread. The water one didn't seem to spread too well. May, may I need it by water? And um, then you remember sometimes the you need it a little bit, a bit by water. Would you hush? I'm talking here. <laughs> Flowery. Your leafy green garden, so that we can get your greens, your grounds, which is basically your carrots, your potatoes. We have one over these just uh, in the last yeah in the other episode. Damn it! <laughs> Getting confused. And then these ones just give you the cac that cactus fruit. But that's pretty much it. So next time, we're going to look at another add-on for Pam's Harvest Craft. Which I don't know which one yet. But I'll pick one and we'll look at it. So we'll be back in this world and looking at something new. Hopefully. Hopefully something new. Can I do anything with that? Nope. I want carrot juice. Mm -hmm. Why don't you give me carrot juice? Oh, I'm curious now. Can I get carrot juice? Yes, I can. Yay. I knew that. Well, then why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't feel like it because you wanted to figure it out on your own. There. Now I got my carrot juice. <laughs> hey, now, you have now my vision now. Now my collection don't seem as empty. I don't know. I didn't care about carrot juice. Now you have night vision. <laughs> Put that back. All right. So... Yeah, so that's pretty much that add-on. It's called Wee Flowers, and basically it just adds flowers. So I'm not sure if I'm going to actually use that add-on or not in that series I want to do. I might, because you always need dyes for something or other. So I might use it. I don't know. Just throw all that crap Why in there. Why did you put box? I don't know, because I just felt like throwing all the crap in there, because I don't like having a full inventory. Anyway, that's it. I'm done. Chuckles, you're done. <laughs> Till next time, I'm Blake Glavin. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Till next time, I'm done. I'm out of here. Bye-bye! You cut off my bye-bye! <laughs> Chuckles, bye! <laughs>